when mother mary though things are not clear when she surrendered what did god do god did five things when you do one thing god will do five things for you today god is not doing anything for you why because you are not willing to surrender you are still remaining with yourself why it is happening to me when will it happen to me whom should i catch to whom to talk you are tr- you are in tension all the time because you are holding on to yourself the lord says sorry i cannot help you out until you are holding on to yourself sometime god allows us to go through this pain that we may leave of ourselves but still we don't leave we hold on to ourselves the promotion of ourselves the building up of ourselves the joy of the life of ourselves is more important for us it's natural but it can become supernatural divine only through the love of god the human being how to become divine being that is the plan of god so god will allow until this person realizes that he cannot lead himself by himself and a time comes when he or she begin to surrender it is there god begins to operate until then god doesn't come into the picture when mother mary said yes number 1 god spoke to her and said strengthen her faith do not be afraid mary do not be afraid god will bless you god will give the holy spirit to you and he will take care of you so god strengthens her through his word and then second thing god does to mother mary to build up her will power she says look at your relative elizabeth she's a old lady even for her child is born it's already 6 months so if god could do for elizabeth why not he will do for you so definitely he will do for you so giving example of somebody god strengthened the will power of mother mary through the word he strengthened her mind her faith and by referring to somebody else third what did god do he went and spoke to her husband in the dream joseph and protected her family she was afraid of the family what will happen to my husband when you say yes to the lord the rest god will do he will fight for you he will do the fulfillment so he went to joseph spoke to him and said take care of your wife and made it sure that joseph got up and he accepted the mary not only he spoke in dream he also changed his mind god can change the people's mind when you surrender is the fruit of love so when you surrender god does that but we don't become surrendering being when she said yes then the lord does everything that is needed she he sends the angel to wake up who the shepherds who are already waiting because mother mary when she gives birth so much energy blood is going away she needs some solid food and that night who will have only the shepherds they will have the milk they will have the milk of the sheep they will have the meat dry meat they will keep it when they kill the goat some of the meat they will put it into the uh, sunlight and it will become dried up they will keep it with them and whenever they need they will put the fire and burn it and eat the meat is giving energy and the milk full of protein and they are the one who has the coal to make fire so the lord's angel spoke to them so they went do you think they might have gone empty handed no they might have carried the milk they might have even boiled the milk and gone and they might have taken the meat 
they made her take and the cold what is needed for mother mary god does mother mary never asked she only surrendered so god spoke to her strengthened her god spoke about elizabeth and built up her will power god spoke to her husband and took care of the family god spoke to the shepherds and gave the immediate need now they have to go and live their lives so god raises up three wise men because in the in the cattle shed lot of smell comes so one wise man brings frankincense another fellow brings a uh, mire mire is some kind of sambrani so that dispels the mosquitoes dispels the uh, all the dirt and for them to have mother mary made a thought that we didn't have money that's why we could not get place in the in the in so a fellow comes with the gold and gives to mother mary so what all thing nothing should happen to the mind of mother i am there for you from here to you when you go to egypt to start a family here is gold for you you can sell it and live a new life when we surrender god does everything it is a surrender when we love god we surrender to god it is a surrendering ourselves to god will supply this is what st john did and god when he surrendered to god god honored his surrender and made him a great not only apostle a great evangelist john is also known as an evangelist who proclaimed a person who wrote the gospel what matthew mark luke did not give john gave the deeper ones about samaritan woman it is he who says about good shepherd he speaks living bread john's gospel chapter 6 it is there i am the wine you are the branches chapter 15 jesus praying praying for huh, the disciples in 17 jesus and lazarus chapter 11 huh, the light of the world chapter 12 all those things only john gave you don't find anywhere else no other gospel yes so let's pray lord make me a person of love and make me a person of surrender many things in my life i don't understand many things that are happening in my life i don't come to know why it is happening and naturally my mind begins to question me naturally i become disturbed to man disturbed to woman lord in this time you give us they wanted to kill john he loved you lord he surrendered himself to you lord and you took care of him you took care of him please help us lord that we move from ourselves to love you to trust you that we may become a surrendered beings in life we don't get everything at a time only when we surrender you begin to operate in us you begin to do the things in us help us to understand lord